people have questions about herbs, uh, we grow all sorts of herbs in our systems. We grow oregano, sage, rosemary, thyme, uh, chives, you name it. Basil grows really well. Uh, we've grown it. Tarragon, dill, it all grows. It all grows very well. Chives is one of those plants, though, if you're a home producer, that you just have to use. You just have to grow chives because they're easy, uh, they taste good, and you can harvest a lot of them. Okay, so um, this, is a, this is a chives tower that I just cut off about an hour ago. This is kind of a baby tower here, but um, you can see that it's, uh, it's growing pretty well. Uh, they respond really well to cutting like this, okay? So every two or three weeks you want to go out and you want to just shear them down to within an inch or two of the crown. Um, and then about two weeks later, you have a tower like this again, okay? And uh, this guy's ready to be harvested, go to market, it'll give me several pounds of chives. And um, they grow really well, they grow really easily, and they're one of those crops that's really hard to kill. So there's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't grow them. They do like to be planted in bunches, so when you plant them, plant them practically one on top of the other. Just one little, one little sprig of chives, you know, every inch or so. And uh, within the first month, within the first kind of month of production, you'll have really tight kind of uh, production that looks like that. Okay, your, your chives will grow really tight, really thick, and um, they'll just keep on getting thicker and thicker and growing better and better. And uh, the big thing is just cutting them all the way back, harvesting them every two weeks, every three weeks at most. And uh, they respond really well to it and they give you a little bit of extra extra growth when you do that. And you don't end up with nearly as much this kind of like dead stuff here. I should say too that on tower systems, chives are really easy to harvest. This is what I have big old shears. And they just go straight up it, whack, whack, whack. Cut the whole thing off, top to bottom. It's literally a, you know, about a 10 second job uh, to cut several pounds of good, good chives. And if you kind of keep them in good condition, if you're a market grower, you can go through and you know, with a basket right here, chop, 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 15 seconds, you've got several pounds of really high quality saleable chives. Um, so long as you're going through on a, you know, a weekly basis, and so long as you're cutting them back on schedule and getting rid of some of the some of the dead um, leaves. Some farmers markets, some markets uh, really don't care. Your customers won't care if you have some uh, little dead pieces of chive in there, but we like to keep ours pretty clean, and it's a really well-selling uh, herb, and uh, it, it does really well at market too. So easy to grow, easy to harvest, easy to sell.